fish eyes. Look, we've got a lot of activity around us. Cross our fingers. Hope this weekend is a lot better weather conditions than it has been previously. Look, tell you, it's been ordinary. It's been hard to fish. But uh, in saying all that, in those breaks in between the crap weather, the fish has been out there and cleaning up. There's a lot of fish getting caught. Dartmouth, we're still extremely happy with that. Seems to be lead line, forward fenders or cowbells down a little bit deeper, single hook and a worm on the back. Seems to cover the options pretty basic, does the job nicely. Hume yeah, Weir seems to have picked up again over the last couple of days. Get good weather, you'll get good fish. Uh, some reasonable reddies, up to about 42 centimetres, trolling or bait fishing around the trees. Not big numbers, but you might get your 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, even a bit more through the day. Uh, don't expect them to all to be that size, but some good ones. Some nice yellows getting caught as well. We're happy with that. No report from my way yet, but uh, after the weekend, uh, don't forget, cod season starts on Sunday. Uh, and uh, we'll start getting those uh, reports from my way and that flow in again, because it's a pretty hot bit of water, I can tell you. Murrumbidgee River, oh, how good is it? Uh, fantastic height, beautiful temperature, colors great. Uh, bait fishermen, lure fishermen, doesn't really matter. Trolling, casting, uh, look, get into it. Go and catch some fish, have some fun. Get out there on Sunday and start chasing some cod. Just make sure you handle them well, drop them straight back in the water. If you don't need to get them out, unhook them in the water. Uh, a lot of small fish, use uh, circle hooks if you can. Uh, wide gaps or circles will cover the options pretty well. Um, bigger baits if you're chasing cod, looking real promising at the moment. There's still a few yellows getting caught, don't forget that. Shrimp and small yabbies for yellow belly. Uh, there's quite a few shrimp in the river too at the moment. Uh, the channel's fishing well, uh, getting a few shrimp out of there. I mean, creek's not too bad, been a bit patchy. Flowering, it's fishing really well. Off the bank with bait, exceptional. Uh, there's been a few reports of a few dead cod floating around up there. And a lot of people are starting to get carried away and talk about, uh, oh, they're not handling properly and that. This is not the case, I can assure you of that. Um, we think it might be just a natural occurrence, could it be a water turnover or something like that. Uh, but we will let you know when we get more information on that. But don't panic about it, go fish and catch fish, have fun, enjoy yourself. Uh, getting a few yellows out of it, a few redfin out of it, off the beak with Yabby seems to be the most consistent. Not too bad at Talbingo, getting the odd good report from there. Tantangra still good, dropping quite quickly at the moment. Uh, it might stop or slow down very soon as far as numbers of fish, but we're pretty happy with the fishing at the moment there. You can be off the bank with baits good. By the way, Tantangra trolling or bait doesn't really matter all that much. Even fly fishing up the back of Tantangra has been okay. Like I say, you can be not bad. Bait fishing seems to be the best. They are trolling quite a few up there. The slim minnows seem to be as good as anything else. Wangler Dam, good fishing there at the moment, very good fishing. Uh, they're getting some good yellows out of it. There will be a lot of cod when people start uh, targeting them. Uh, TN60 Jackal seems to be pretty uh, consistent up there, especially cast around the little uh, outcrops of uh, rocky outcrops points, anything like that, in three to five metres of water. Burrenjuck, very good. It's really fired up now. Over the last few days, we're getting reports everywhere from Burrenjuck. Uh, shrimp or small yabbies are going to be your prime baits there. If you're going to use lures, obviously the little black grubs, whether it be the lunker or the gulp, it doesn't matter. Paddle tail, curly tail. Put a bit of sack sand on it. That really gets them going. And just a slow roll up the trees. They seem to be about 15 to 20 feet down. They're not sitting on the bottom in 40 feet of water. Uh, they're looking for that warm water and uh, they're finding it. And they seem to be in good numbers there. So as you can see, we've got a fair bit of activity around us at the moment. Very happy with it. If you want more update reports, give us a yell at the shop and we'll cover our areas if you're not sure where you're going. Complete English Fish Report this week. We'll catch you next week.